All right, guys. Have you ever come across one of these that products that becomes one of your must-have products? Ah, I have. Check it out. It's the Jack Stillman F2 Tool Roll Kit. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Well, once that guy's gone. Hey guys, it's Robin the Lady Biker. How is everyone out there doing today? Uh, it is such a beautiful day here in Perth, Western Australia, and I thought it would be a great time to stop and share with you a little bit about a new product, well, it's new to me, that I came across that I absolutely love. The Jack Stillman F2 Tool Roll Kit. It is amazing. Now, let me go ahead and do my preface here for YouTube. This product was given to me to test out. If you know any, or if you followed me for any length of time, I don't do a lot of product reviews where a product has been gifted to me because like 85% of them I either reject or I ignore because they're not products I would use on a daily basis. I have been looking for a really well-made tool roll kit for a long time. And when I was down in Fremantle not about three months ago and I was at the Jack Stillman store and I met Jared, who is the owner, and was telling him what I was looking for. He's like, oh yeah, I've got one. And as we chat, he's like, oh yeah, just take it and test it and then tell me what you think. Well, okay, bonus. A product that I've been looking for and one from a company that I have come to learn is really worth. They, they do a good job, they're worth it. So, little history. For years, Allie and I would basically take our tools because we hadn't found a bag that, or a container that we really liked. And we just roll them up in a towel and toss it in our saddlebags. Well, anybody who's tried that before knows that's not always the best deal. You, you can figure it out. So, as I was doing research, I came across everything that I was finding, everything out there from manufacturers to Amazon to recommended, kept coming across a handful of problems. Problem overall, Number one was all the bags were not well made. They were just, they were synthetic. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> they were not well made. Um, they were synthetic. They clearly were not going to survive in a harsh environment like a saddlebag, especially for the long touring that Allie and I do when we're on the bikes. Uh, problem general number two is they came pre-filled. And that having pre-filled with tools, sub problem, <laughs> they were usually not the best quality tools to begin with. And so why am I paying these really high end prices for cheaply made bags and tools? And the other problem with the tools that came pre-filled were they were general tools. They, they were just general picks. So only half of them would really work on a Harley. So why am I paying for a set that I can only use half of what it comes with? Anyway, so you see my problems. Fast forward to coming across this and why I went ahead and decided I would try out and test this product and I'm so glad I did is because this is a product worth it. So let's talk about the goods and the bads. Good number one, this company is family owned. It is a small mom and pop owned company. Well, I should say pop and kids owned company. So it's a local owned family business. That right there is worth it. And they're a lifestyle company. So they really understand us as motorcyclists and what we like and what we don't. So that was positive number one. Positive number two about this product is it comes in multiple sizes. So it's got two sizes, the F1, which is a little bit bigger, and then this is the F2. So for those of you who have, who do a lot of your own wrenching, you have a deep knowledge, you wanna carry a lot more of your tools, the F1 is for you. Allie and I, we're not gonna do a whole lot. So we got the smaller one. And this fits perfect for our skill level and our comfort level of wrenching on the side road. Positive number three. The construction. This is a high-end, well-made product. It's made out of waxed canvas. So think World War II era uh, bags and gear. And I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's meant to be abused and used. And the more it's used, 
the better it functions and quite honestly, the better it looks. It kind of patinas in a lot of ways. The, the edging, the webbing, the metal, everything is con quality constructed materials. Cannot say enough positive. And they're so confident in their product. Jack Stillman, the company, offers a 10-year warranty on everything they sell. Yeah, you heard me right, 10 years. And they've been around for a long time. So they can back up that kind of warranty. And really, what kind of company does that anymore? That is so invested and so believing in their own product that they will guarantee it for 10 years. So let me show you the inside of this so I can show you the other part, another part, the next thing that I love so much about it. So as you open it up and you can unroll it, and the way it's designed, the heavier canvas, it lays flat on the ground. So if you're in the wind, it's not gonna be blowing around. It gives you a good stable platform to hold your tools to use. So as you're pulling things off the bike, you have a place to put them. They're not gonna get lost. It's just quality product, quality workmanship. And then you can fill it with what you want. So, you know, we have a handful of sockets and screwdrivers, pliers, uh, a wrench, but then we also have the zipper pout part where we can open it up and we can put all of our sock, you know, the, the heads and the sockets and the, the whatever we need for the, and zip it back up, roll it back up, uh, put the webbing back together, drop it in your saddlebag. Guys, this is one of the better products I've come across in a long time, long time. Negatives. Whew. Hoping I can keep this out of the wind enough that you can hear me. Negatives. Um, there's really kind of two. One, and they're not really huge negatives, but they are drawbacks. Because of the high in quality, now many products out there are good for the price. I mean, they're good and they're at a good price point. Then there's other things you truly get what you pay for. And this is one of them. You truly get what you pay for. Unfortunately, because of you're paying for higher end materials, the cost of this is on the higher end of a um, of the the spectrum of the the product lines out there. But there again, this is one of those products you get what you pay for. Second problem is because this is truly a family owned business. They do all the design, all the manufacturing, all the sailing, all the shipping. They do everything from concept to in your hands. Especially after COVID, they're still ramping up in, on some of their products. They're struggling to keep up with demand. Now, and since I've recently gone worldwide, that's added yet another problem. Fortunately, the tool rolls typically stay in stock most of the time, so it's not usually a problem, but if you're looking for one of their ponchos, oh, love those ponchos. I still want one, by the way, Jared. Um, you pretty much have to pre-order and then just wait until they get their, you know, a, a shipment or a bundle produced. So that's kind of a good problem to have that their products are in so dem such demand that they're having trouble keeping up the supply. All right, guys, so that is my thoughts, the positives and the negatives on the Jack Stillman F2 tool roll kit. I cannot say enough good things about not only this product but the company itself they are worth it drop down into the description i'll have a link to their website as well as to a friend of mine rob from throttle down under he tested i think it was one of their backpacks and i'll drop the link to his video on the backpack so you can see it's not just me saying this is a quality company this is truly a quality company so go check all that out but also while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that any time I put up a product review or some of the crazy adventures I'm into, you're going to get the notification. Guys, for those of you who have stayed to the end of this, I so appreciate your time. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are wonderful. If any of you have a must-have product that you never leave on a trip, out of the garage, on your bike without, Drop it in the description because, you know, I'm always looking for good stuff to either upgrade or to add to things that just make my ride better. All right, guys, it's a gorgeous day. I'm so not ready to go back yet. So I think Scarlett and I are going to go grab a couple more miles before I put her up. I'm hoping y'all do that too. So if you can, guys, get out and ride. When you do, have fun, be safe, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.